friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's weigh-in day. If you didn't notice, I didn't have a weigh-in last week. Like I mentioned in the previous week's weigh-in video, I had some friends in town so I didn't do a weigh-in. So today is a two-week weigh-in and it is a very, very interesting weigh-in. Really, really interesting. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I myself have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, ask questions or get support. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my interesting weigh-in and this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. into today's video, I have to share this outfit with you guys. I actually picked this up off of Amazon. I have been wanting a jogger set for a long time. Something that was a little bit more lightweight, that was the perfect transition into fall and into winter. So I went onto Amazon and I found this set you're not going to believe how affordable and how adorable this set is. From the brand Nimsruck, this is the women's two-piece casual sweat suit. I picked mine up in the purple. It comes in sizes small all the way through 2XL. It 100% fits true to size. I love the purple color. I want to pick up the coffee brown color as well. You know that I love anything brown. This two-piece suit actually comes in 33 different colors, so the possibilities are endless. So it's great to be able to pick up more than one color. I love that it has the white accents. It has a drawstring waist with a tie and functional ties on the sweatshirt as well. It also has a hood. It's made from 95% polyester. You're going to receive both the jacket and the joggers. This is perfect for working out, day-to-day -day life, grocery shopping, running errands. You can also wear this on your daily walks. It is just a super versatile two-piece set. So I've worn this already several times. I've washed it, I've dried it, and the quality is outstanding. I highly recommend this and I love that there are 33 color options. And for me, I plan on picking up at least one or two more colors. I really love the mustard yellow and the coffee brown color. And for the price, like I said, you can't beat it for a two piece set. That is such fantastic quality. So I will go ahead and link it down below directly off of Amazon, free shipping to your doorstep and a discount for you. I ended up using a discount on Amazon as well. So I paid even less than the already super affordable price. So this whole little ensemble for today will be linked down below for you. So like I mentioned, I had friends in town. My friend Michelle, who is originally from Sydney, Australia, won the green card lottery several months ago, almost a year ago actually. And in the last month has moved to Atlanta, Georgia. She came to visit in November of 2022 and left a suitcase here just so she would have less suitcases to haul from Australia. So she came to pick that up and then we spent a few days together. We ended up going to Phoenix and had such an amazing time. We went to a butterfly exhibit, the Phoenix Aquarium, the Phoenix Zoo. We went swimming in the pool at our hotel. We ate at Cracker Barrel. Michelle had never experienced Cracker Barrel. We actually ate there twice. And then my friend Henry also came in from San Diego. He flew in to see Michelle and I for a couple of days as well. And we made our way to Apache Junction, Arizona and went to the most amazing ghost town. I told Tori we are 100% going together. I really wanna take him. And it's only about a two and a half hour, two hour, 45 minute drive from our house. So that is on mine and Tori's date day bucket list. We did old time photos, which was so much fun. We drove around Superstition Mountain, ate at this saloon that had dollar bills all over the wall. They've been putting dollar bills on the wall since 1904 and there was over 700 thousand dollar bills. I remember to, I told Michelle and Henry, I hope this place never burns down because that's a lot of dollar bills on the wall. It was just such an amazing, amazing trip. I ate lots. I enjoyed all the foods. We had fudge. We had dessert every day. We went to Crumble Cookie because Henry had never been to Crumble Cookie. We just had an amazing time. Lots of food, lots of fun, lots of friendship. It was exactly what my soul needed. 
And that is why I didn't have a weigh-in last week because they were actually here on Friday when I typically film my weigh-in video. So before we talk about my weight, because like I said, it was very interesting, I do wanna chat with you about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is how to use movement to boost your mood. When you're sad, when you're stressed, when you're angry, when you are snacky or just feeling blah, moving your body can take away all of those feelings and really boost your mood. Here are some things that you can try. Number one, pick an activity. Think about what you actually enjoy. Maybe it's walking, yoga, dancing, pickleball, all movement is fair game. Number two, decide where to move. If you can't stand the gym on a good day, don't go there. Maybe head to the park or stay at home. Number three, really plan your intensity. Your activity doesn't have to be punishing to get the perks. Find a pace or level of effort that feels right for you. Any movement is good movement. Any movement is better than no movement. You don't have to go sweat in the gym for hours. You don't have to run a marathon. You can simply take a walk. And in fact, walking is the best exercise for boost, boosting your mood and for weight loss. It doesn't have to be intense. Just move your body. Having a go-to movement plan is really important. A lot of people always ask me, how do you stay motivated to get up at 4 a.m. to go to boot camp or to go to the gym three days a week or to hike all the time? It's not really about motivation. It's about building a routine and a habit. Movement exercise is just part of my daily habit. If I miss it, it feels really weird. It's kind of like brushing your teeth. If you don't do it, it's like something is off. That's exactly what can happen when you move your body on a regular basis. And like I said, it doesn't have to be intense. It doesn't have to be six or seven days a week, really truly taking a walk a couple times a week is really beneficial for weight loss and boosting your mood. You can get out into the fresh air. For me, taking a walk is my me time. I typically don't listen to music or anything. I just walk and I enjoy the sounds, the sights of nature and just focus on being one with myself. It's very relaxing for me and it's a great way to burn some extra calories. So a leisurely walk, stretching, going to yoga, playing pickleball. I can attest how much pickle, fun pickleball is and it is a killer workout. Don't let anyone tell you that pickleball isn't a good workout. I can burn upwards of six or 700 calories in a couple hours of pickleball. You can also do a sweaty hit workout like I do at boot camp. whatever works for you. Just remember whatever movement you choose is needs to be something you enjoy so you'll stick with it long term. That's how you build healthy habits. Moving your body regularly is so good for weight loss, so good for your health overall, and so good for your mood. So find something you enjoy and do it regularly. So now let's talk about my weigh in. If you saw the title of today's video, we had a massive, massive weight gain. Now I debated on whether I wanted to say weight gain or weight fluctuation, but as the last week has went on since my friends left, since I got back to my normal eating, that's really the key takeaway here. I, I, wanna, I wanna stop there for a minute. If you overindulge, if you go on vacation, if you feel like you overdid it, just get back to normal. Just get back to your normal foods. You don't need to restrict anything. You don't need to eliminate anything. You don't need to eat less because you ate more the week before. Just get back to normal. And a lot of that weight gain, AKA weight fluctuation, will go away rather quickly once you get back to normal. So when I came home from my trip, remember I, w I was in Phoenix out of town for most of their visit here, so I didn't have access to my scale. When I got home, you guys, I had, I was up on the scale five pounds. That is the biggest influx on the scale that I've ever seen on my weight loss journey, ever. Ever, 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 up five pounds in just a few days was insane. Now my immediate thought was, holy, you know what? And then I immediately course corrected and thought, there's no way I gained five pounds. I did not eat 3,500 calories times five, which is 17,500 calories above my maintenance calories. That didn't happen, you guys. I wasn't eating 5,000 calories every day of my trip. So logically, I thought there's no way I actually gained five pounds. This is a weight fluctuation. It could be a mix of multiple things. Not getting in as much movement as normal, eating out for every meal, which means more sodium, less control over what's in my foods, not drinking the same amount of water that I always drink, really being in a hot climate can cause swelling and inflammation and just water retention. I mean, it could have been a multitude of things. So I didn't beat myself up. I just got back on track and within about four days, my weight had dropped four out of those five 
pounds. So it took a few days for a lot of that weight fluctuation to come off. And that was, you know, getting back to drinking my water, getting back to eating my foods, my 80% whole real food, and just focusing on those whole foods instead of the more processed foods, not going out to eat, just really cleaning things up and getting back on track. So when I weighed in today, I'm actually still up one pound. So what that tells me is that I had about a pound gain, which makes sense. I mean, I definitely ate very differently than I normally do. I ate a lot more than I normally did. I wasn't as active. Now, granted, I did get in a lot of steps every day, did a lot of walking, been back to working out since the day they left. But I can see that a one pound weight gain makes sense. And I'm not mad about it because listen, I had a fantastic time with my friends. And I can tell you also that by next week, that should be gone. Getting back to normal, getting back on track, I should be able to shed that one pound gain and maybe even have a little bit more of a loss next week. So this is your friendly reminder to enjoy yourself on vacation and not beat yourself up if you overindulge or if you eat foods you normally don't eat. Typically what you see on the scale is a weight fluctuation, not a weight gain. So just get back on track, move your body, boost your mood, and I promise you the scale will be right back to where it was prior to that vacation. So we shall see what happens next week. I am back to my normal weekly weigh-in, so we'll see what happens. I'm not upset about gaining one pound. It's well-deserved, and I had a fantastic time doing it. So you know what? It's water under the bridge, and we are moving on. Now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain, did you lose? What do you think about moving and boosting your mood? And let us know down below, what is your favorite way to move your body? Maybe you'll strike some inspiration for our friends here on YouTube and find different activities that they can do to boost their mood, their weight loss, and their health. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on, because again, I do away in every Friday and I also upload five videos every single week. I will link my outfit down below for you. Highly recommend pick up a few colors. Also, this would make a fantastic gift with the upcoming holidays. I'll also have nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you all down in that description box. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!